We're extremely taken care of. We're extremely loved. We're extremely protected. Right now, in this very moment, we do not need to worry about anything because when you feel the presence of God, love, spirit, whatever word you like, I know some of you react to God, the presence, the spirit. Do you feel the presence of life in you? Are you alive? Do you love God? Do you love the Spirit? Do you feel that? And if you do, then know that this life, this God, this Spirit, takes care of every moment of your life, takes care of all of your needs. You don't need to worry about how to make a living or how to put things together. God takes care of that for you. You can relax into that. You can step back into that and just kind of let go of this madness that you are in control. You're driving this vehicle and you're really in control of this world and you have to constantly be in control of everything. Kind of relax into letting it go. Maybe you should get out of the car and go and look underneath the car. And you will discover that this car you're driving, actually it's on a rail, like a train. It's on a predetermined path. So this wheel that you're turning is only imaginary. You're imagining you're directing it because a lot of times you turn it to go left and it goes right. And a lot of times you try to go right and it goes left. Look at your life. How many times you wanted to go here and you ended up here? How many times in your life you thought, this is what I want, this is what I'm going to do, blah, 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 and you ended up not doing any of it, despite of how much time and energy you put into it, something else happened. How is life supposed to show you that you are not in control at all? God is in control. So that's good news. Thank God God is in control. Because if I was in control, it would have been a mess. This way, I can just relax and let go. And let the presence provide everything. It will give you everything you need. And it has done that. Maybe you've gone through a lot of hard times. But... So far, so good, and you're here. Stay in that place. Stay in your faith. Stay in that sense of being, of the presence and the love. And let God show the love to you. Dive into the love. Dive into the presence. I'm not talking about superficial love. I'm not talking about psyching yourself up to say, oh, it's all love and everyone is love. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about discover the presence of love of God here in yourself. And that you can do when you're quiet, when you're still, when you're meditative, then you're in complete union with God and everything else. Okay. I'm sorry I don't have time for answering questions today. I apologize. It's a busy day. I have things to do and I got to go. I look forward to meeting you next Wednesday. The Academy is going to go on.
And again, in two weeks, we're going to have our shamanic healing circle on the 23rd. And then the Ascension to Fifth Dimensional Consciousness workshop is going to be on 25th and 26th of July. So if you're interested, you're welcome to sign up uh, through our website. The website is zaratustra.tv. And if you want to communicate with me, you can write to me at info at zaratustra.tv. That's our email, info at zaratustra.tv. That's my email and my website is zaratustra.tv. Remember, you are in very good hands, okay? Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, Lord God, loving you extremely. There is so much love here for you. God loves you extremely. And God takes care of all of us, all of us. We're all children of God. Mama, mama takes care of all of us, feeds all of us. Every time money comes, food comes, anything you need, it just comes to you somehow. Know that it's God is taking care of you because we're children of God. So you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to worry. Don't go there. Just stay in this place. Stay home in the heart. In this place, knowing, practice this every day. Tell yourself, I know God will take care of me. I trust in God. Get into the habit of it. I'm not talking about religious belief. I'm talking about shift your perception. Hang out with Her Majesty. Ask Her Majesty for everything you want. Forget about the world. Forget about other people. Be in communication with the being here. And the being here will reveal itself. You want awakening? Ask the being within yourself to reveal itself to you because you're already awakened. You just don't know it. You've forgotten. So just ask her, show yourself to me. Reveal your presence in my life. I want to drink you. I want to eat you. I want to be, I want to just constantly be in this communion with you. Ask that. The presence will show itself to you. It will show you miracles every day. It will show you magic every day. Because every moment of this life that we're alive, it is a miracle. It's a miracle we're here. It's a miracle we're alive. It's a miracle we can talk to each other. It's a miracle to be able to see a friend and just touch their face or kiss your friend on the cheek or your mother or someone you love and give love and receive love. These are our miracles. Look back. Six months ago, it was a miracle to go sit outside, sit in a coffee shop, sit in any restaurants you wanted with your friends get in a plane, travel anywhere you want it to go. You remember that? And now we don't have it. You can't go to restaurants, you can't sit next to people, you can't jump in a plane and travel. All of those are gone. Were you appreciating those simple things six, seven months ago? And it's taken away from you. 
appreciate simple things that gifts that we have. Everything you have right now, appreciate it as a gift of God. Be grateful for it. Simple things, very simple. And in that appreciation, God will give you more. It will show you more. She will pull the veil of illusion and she will show you her face to you. And she will pour so much love in your heart that some days you're just in complete ecstasy. Cry, you're crying, you're just in ecstasy. And that all comes from yourself. Believe me, it won't be me. It won't be another guru or teacher or a shaman. You, you will be that person because it's inside yourself. Turn your attention inwards. See your heart. See how beautiful you are. See your power here. Don't look at other people outside. Bring your attention inwards and find it inside yourself. That's where it is. Because you are who you're looking for. Love you. Namaste. And I'll see you next week. God bless.